Hello again, everybody. This is GearWire.com's series of educational videos on the Audio Mulch application. Right now, we are going to take a look at the Meta Surface, which is one of the most visually stunning things about uh, Audio Mulch. The Meta Surface is a um, visual control surface that implements a uh, X and Y axis uh, field in which to uh, choose transitions between differing document snapshots. Now what does all that mean? Well remember that all of this in Audio Mulch uh, comprises the document. The document is the uh, contraptions that add up to the sound that we hear in the, uh, uh, in the out of the sound card. In this case the structure of our document has one source and that is a 10 harmonics generator. This is a generator that uh, sends out uh, harmonic uh, that sends out bass uh, frequencies and harmonics of that frequency and it is being sent into two main signal chains that are kind of identical actually uh, but with different settings of course the uh, chain uh, order is there's a pulse comb filter then there's a gain stage then a phaser effect and then a five comb filter and both of these are then summed back into mono at the uh, at a uh, distor digital distortion contraption called DigiGrunge. And then this goes into a delay line granulator. This is a uh, delay line that, uh, that acts as a granulating uh, circuit in that uh, it takes uh, small pieces uh, in rapid succession of a signal instead of passing a contiguous signal. Out of the granulator and also clean out of both uh, channels, or rather uh, ungranulated and ungrunged out of both uh, wet channels into the stereo delay, into a stereo gain, and then into the sound out. Now, if we look at this document, we see all of these contraptions and we see their states. We can see actually that uh, the both, both sides of the uh, on both sides of the uh, chains, or I should say, on both chains, the uh, pulse comb filter is set to identical values so it'll be interesting to see what actually changes when we go ahead and run this patch. Now running this patch actually involves, or running this document I should say, involves using a control surface. And now each one of these, oh I say, sorry about this, uh, I should be a little more specific. Right now we, can, we are looking at a state of the document called high tick tock and high tick tock is a sound that uh, we will hear if we actually mouse down in the meta surface in this area and high tick tock represents the all of the fader state that you see here on all of the contraptions on the document if we go to another setting one called grind and here's grinds area in the meta surface you can see that the faders are in a very different state and the great thing about Metasurface is, is that you can click and drag to get the sounds to slowly evolve from one state to another. And any one of these sounds are available to slowly evolve from one state to another to evolve amongst each other. I hope I'm explaining this well. So let's take a look at full screen. Actually, let's get, let's start the, let's actually just turn on audio. And go full screen. We're hearing grind right now. If I mouse down, we hear sort of the central sound of grind. Now I could move, I'm, I'm still holding, and I could move in any direction. I could move toward rain clicks over to the left there, or I could move toward stringy chords up to the top, or I can move to dissonant chords, which is up, to, up and to the left. Let's move toward rain clicks and see what happens. We made the transition into rain clicks. From rain clicks, I could go back to grind, for example. Crawl over there. And then into. So, this is really the central state of the grind uh, document snapshot. And we can move, interpolating all the way from grind over to dissonant chords, let's say. And then from dissonant chords down to rain clicks. And of course, all the border regions contain proportional mixes of each of the neighboring document states. 
Move into low tick-tock. The bell chords. And real quick over to stringy chords. So that is just some of the fun you can have with the meta surface because each one of these regions is, of course, uh, configurable to whatever settings you wish on your document. So you can configure the meta surface, you can create your own meta surfaces that allow you to transition from between various states in the document uh, that you create an audio mulch. It's a great dimension to a great tool. Thanks for watching. This has been a GearWire.com tutorial screencast.